Hey everybody, Blues Matt with another quick video for you. Today is February 16th, 2013, and today's video topic is viewing digital photos using Windows Explorer. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, I should say that I really like taking digital pictures. I've enjoyed it for years and years. In fact, if I open up my computer here, and take a quick look at my pictures folder. If I right click it and choose properties, you'll see that I have over 12,000 files or 12,000 images in that one folder. So I really do like taking pictures. So this is what I do when I come back to my computer after a day of shooting pictures with my camera. I'll download them into a folder. For demonstration purposes, I'm gonna use this folder on my desktop. If I go ahead and double click it and open it up, Windows Explorer opens. I see a navigation pane here and I see little thumbnail views of the images that are in my folder. Okay, so what I can do here and what I really do is I tend to make the window a little bit bigger and maybe I'll switch my view by clicking on the more options button here and switch to extra large icons. This gives me a chance to take a look at the images in the folder as sort of a group and just to get a qu quick idea of how they look on my computer. At any time I can switch back to a smaller view. Maybe I'll go back to large icons and just quickly look for pictures that need to be rotated. So here's one right here. If I right click it and choose rotate clockwise, that turns it into the right orientation. So let me just go through and do a bunch of these. Sometimes it's helpful to have the larger view when I'm looking for pictures that need to be rotated. Okay, so here's two pictures that I really want to rotate. So what I can do is I can left click one of them. This highlights it, selects it. Hold down the control key on my keyboard and left click this second one. So now I actually have two images selected, this one and this one. If I right click either one of them and choose rotate clockwise, Now both of them have been rotated for me in, in sort of one operation. So that's kind of a handy trick to know as well. Here's a couple other ones that I want to rotate. So instead of clicking, this time what I'm going to do is left click and hold my left mouse button down and drag over these two images. That selects both of these. Now I can right click either one, choose rotate clockwise, and then in, as again, as a group, these two pictures are rotated. If I click anywhere in the window, that deselects them. Okay, here's a couple other ones. This time I'm gonna left click to select the first one, hold down the control button, left click again, left click again, left click again, left click again, left click again. I think I'll leave those. Left click again, left click, left click. Again, I'm still just holding down the control button on my keyboard while I'm left clicking these individual photos. Now I can right click any of them that have been selected, choose rotate clockwise, and then as a group all those pictures are going to get rotated. You can, you can see it takes a few seconds to do that. There we go. 
Here's another one. I can right click this one individually and choose rotate clockwise. So that one of them is rotated. Here's a couple of more. Left click, control button held down, left click again, right click the selected photo, rotate clockwise. Let's rotate clockwise this one. Rotate. All right, so I think all the pictures now are in the right orientation. Here's a couple that I should rotate. Another one. So I just kind of go through these pictures pictures. and make sure they're all pointed in the right direction. Okay. So that's what I actually do. I might actually delete some pictures, like if this one was one that I didn't want to keep anymore, I could right click it and choose delete. In this particular folder of pictures, I, I want to keep all of these. So let me show you another way that you can look at your pictures inside of Windows Explorer, which I think is pretty handy. If I left click the Organize button up here and mouse over the Layout menu feature or menu selection, I can unselect the navigation pane, which is this pane right here. No particular reason to take up some screen real estate with that particular window. So if I click it to deselect it, it disappears. So now I get a larger window to look at my photos in. But we're going to keep going here. I'm going to click on the little More Options button to the right of the Views button. And I'm going to switch to, let's say, medium size icons, fairly small. I'm going to go back to left clicking my Organize button, mouse over Layout, and this time I'm going to choose Preview Pane. That opens up another window to the right, and as you can see, it puts a fairly large preview of the image that I have selected, which happens to be this one right here. I can use my mouse button to select different pictures in any particular order I'm interested in, and I can see a fairly large preview of that particular image. But let's not stop there. Let's do one other thing here. Let's click, left click the Organize button again, mouse over Layout, and this time we're going to also turn on the Details pane. That opens up another window at the bottom of the screen, and it gives me the details of the image I'm actually previewing here, which is the one that I'm, I've selected over here. So let's pick uh, this one. There's my preview. There's my selected photo, and here's the details of that particular image. I can see the file name, the kind of file, the date and time it was taken, the size of the file, and then some of the specifics about the camera that was used to actually shoot the image. So I think this is pretty useful too, and I do use this fairly often to take a look at my pictures. Again, right inside of Windows Explorer. Now I'm just selecting pictures by left clicking my mouse button on the image I want to take a look at. But I could also, if I prefer, just use my arrow keys on my keyboard. And just kind of scroll through the different images and take a look. Okay. So that's, this is pretty handy. I think this is a, a real nice way to take a look at your pictures inside of Windows Explorer. 
Now let me reset Windows Explorer to the way it was when I originally started this video. So I'm going to turn the navigation pane back on. I'm going to turn the details pane off and I'm going to turn the preview pane off and I'm going to switch back to large icons and I believe I started with a window that was a little smaller something about like that okay so that's the way I started this video now let me show you another thing that I very often do when I want to take a look at my pictures right on my computer right inside of Windows Explorer I can turn on the menu bar which right now is turned off. If I click on Organize, go to Layout, you see Menu Bar is not checked, so it's not visible. If I go ahead and lift, left click it, that turns the Menu Bar on. Now if I take a look here, you'll see that there's a check mark right here. So what's useful about the Menu Bar is I can click on Edit, and I can click on Select All. That selects all the images that are in my folder, irregardless of how many there are in there. Okay, so that's a real easy way to select all the pictures. Then from the File menu, I can choose Preview. When I choose Preview, with all of those images being selected, it shows me a full screen view of all of the selected images, which happen to be all the photos in that folder. Now I can scroll through them in full screen view, one at a time, by pushing this next button. If I want to go back, I just push the previous button. If for some reason I wanted to zoom in on a particular aspect of a photo, I could click the zoom button. Zoom in and then left click and drag the image around in the window and now I can see a zoomed in view of the photo. Pretty handy. Now during my video here I've already rotated all of my images into the correct orientation but I could have also chosen to do it inside of this preview mode. So here's the rotate counterclockwise and here's the rotate clockwise. And if while I was viewing any of these pictures in my folder, I wanted to delete any of them, I could do that by hitting the red X. But in this case, I want to keep all the images in the folder. All right, so I use the preview function a lot in full screen mode like this, and also in windowed mode, like I just showed you a second ago. To take a look at my photos, I really enjoy taking a look at the pictures that I uh, was able to shoot with my camera. A lot of times when I look at the picture on the computer screen, I'll see something different that I didn't see when I was on location taking the picture or even taking a look at the picture right on the uh, camera screen, the LCD on the back of the camera. Looking at them on the computer in full screen mode, you see some other things that you didn't see. So for example, when I shot this picture, I didn't really realize that the flagpole was not quite vertical. I should have rotated the camera a little tiny bit. But that's okay. I could fix the fix this image if I wanted to in a photo editing software program. When I'm done previewing my pictures, I can just X out of the window, and that brings me back to where I started. All right. So I hope this has helped you out a little bit. This is actually what I do. This is how I use Windows Explorer to look at my pictures after I've downloaded them from my camera. This has been Blues Matt. Thanks for watching.